let's take a look and see how trash this thing is. This blaster is one of Nerf's 2,334 million smart AR-4 shot blasters. This blaster is really well designed. Now, I want you to know, I would never get this normally, never. But I was thrifting, and I found a brand new Unbox Blaster thrifting, and I was like, that's pretty cool. Even though it was a bad one, I was like, you know what? Let's get this bad blaster, review it, make a funny review. So, just for fun, today we're looking at Elite Junior Blaster. That is the Elite Junior Explorer. Now, I got this at a thrift store for six bucks, which is like a third of the original price. So, I, I think that was a fair, you know, that was a fair enough price to check this out and do a little review on it. Just so you guys can know whether to avoid this or not. I think we know the answer how bad this is going to be. But let's get started. And I thought it'd be funny to bring back a running joke from a long time ago about how the most ridiculous knives I would use. So let's use a literal sword. This is the dullest sword ever. <laughs> Good grief. You know what? This is this is a terrible idea. What am I doing? What's crazy is by all accounts, a lot of people said this is one of the worst, if not the worst Nerf Blaster of 2023. So let's take a look and see how trash this thing is. Wow, this is garbage. Now I'm looking into this review with an open mind because I am looking at what this blaster was designed for. Elite Junior is designed for the little kids, the little people, okay? That cannot use normal blasters that are too powerful and too hard to prime. So I gotta keep that in mind, especially with the ergonomics and performance. That being said, I'm gonna be fair with this as well. Does it function properly? And is the quality good? Is it moddable? All the good questions. Also, the price for this is pretty insane, so this has to do something to justify it. So a lot to talk about, but this may be the worst blaster of 2023 by far. First impressions of the grip, you know, honestly, honestly, it's not trash. I mean, even considering that's made for little kids and that there is kind of a restrictor here, it could be a lot worse. It's not good by any means, but heck, this is not trash. This is, it's okay. Even considering that this is for younger kids and adults could be able to hold this briefly without having too much trouble. There was a foregrip here, which I find kind of odd, even if you're a young kid, like this is a small blaster. There is of course your priming bar here, which is very light, which is des by design. It's kind of, it's not flimsy, but it's kind of loose fitting, which is kind of weird, but it's not flimsy. It's gonna stay in there. Of course, there is the trigger. You have a sight right here, four barrels of the front. Uh, you have a sling mount for whatever reason. This blaster is one of Nerf's 2,334 million smart AR-4 shot blasters. And let's see how good it is. So. Seems to be a pretty tight fit with the dart. That's good to know. I've heard bad things about the air restrictor system. That's what we want to know. Does this work reliably? Because first impressions, if you were, this is actually a decent blaster to give to a younger kid. All right, prime the back. It looks, seems fine to me. Of course, that's just at a target right there. And it didn't seem to decrease too much, but there's only one real way to find that out, and that is to take it out to the range. If this works consistently and has what I would expect, not too much of a drop of performance, this might actually not be that bad, but we'll find out. All right, guys, I'm not expecting much, but let's see what ranges we have. You know what? That's exactly what I expected. We're getting 25, maybe 30 foot ranges. Let's try some other darts, some X shot, Accu darts or whatever, waffle heads. Better performance, not too terrible. The lowest dart, which is an Accu uh, round dart, at the and that was on the lowest barrel at 17 feet, which is not that great at all. The lowest shooting elite dart from the lowest barrel and another 
uh, Accu X Shot Dart at 30 feet, which is not terrible. Like for the lowest barrel for the Elite Dart, that's not bad. We kind of have another grouping of darts here and it's at 36 feet. Yeah, 36 feet. Then the farthest dart, dart which is an X Shot Dart at how much? about 40 feet. I don't know what happened with that one dart here, but all the darts here were, you know, close to 30, anywhere from 30 to 40 feet, which is what I would expect for Elite Junior. I mean, it's meant to be not a good performer. It's purposely designed to not perform well or as powerful as other blasters because it's for little kids. So this is a perfectly acceptable range for Elite Junior. This blaster is really well designed. First off, no clips, no glue, really nice metal springs in the trigger as well and mostly metal parts no plastic springs and like it's amazing i can't believe narf is still doing this and the quality of this blaster is good too which i forgot to mention in the overview and this thing can take a spring upgrade and i've seen people actually brass the barrels and get this thing to shoot about 100 fps which is actually kind of crazy that this has mod potential which Makes me hate this a lot less. So after testing this blaster and checking out the internals and evaluating things, I don't hate it. I can't. My plan was to do an angry, funny review because I saw this for cheap at a thrift store. I'm not angry. First off, I will address the biggest problem here and that is that this is $15, which is way overpriced. Now. That's the only con I can really see besides the fact it's Smart AR. As a blaster that's not designed to perform well, it does a good enough job. It fits into the Elite Junior range. It does what it's supposed to do, and I actually like that. As someone who's had a lot of experience with hosting Nerf Wars and stuff, I have a lot of problems with younger kids who can't prime their blasters, or a blaster may be too powerful, and you know, they cry or something, and it could get a lot pretty messy with that. So you gotta be careful with that. This is a great alternative. This is a lower performance blaster, very easy to prime. A little, a, a toddler could prime this no problem. Nice big trigger to prime. And the coolest part about this is first off, the plastic quality is a lot better than what you would think. It's really good. It's a solid shell quality. There's no flex. You can't hear any flex to this. It's a really good shell quality. Also, lots of different parts are painting. There's no clips or, or glue holding this together, which really elevates it. There's metal springs instead of plastic springs, which is unbelievably amazing. It has a pretty solid catch system and a good enough size plunger tube to where you could mod this thing to shoot pretty good. $10 would have been perfectly acceptable, but because it's 15, I'm probably gonna have to give it a six out of 10. That's just what I'm gonna say. Also, it is not for everyone. It's a lower performer, unless you wanna mod this thing up. So. Yeah, I'm not too mad at this. Only mad at the price. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. And I always like it when there's a pleasant surprise. Bye bye. My junk drawer, my junk drawer. So many things, I don't know what they're for, but I won't let it go. No, I will add more useless little things to my junk drawer.